So I'm excited to announce today the launch of the Amazon Machine Learning Service. which is a fully managed machine learning service for developers even with no experience in machine learning. And to give you more detail about how the service works, it's my pleasure to introduce the one and only Dr. Matt Wood. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Andy. Um, so one of the trends that we've been seeing at AWS over the, probably the past 18 months to two years is that developers are interacting with data of all kinds on almost a daily basis. And they're doing this in a couple of different ways. First thing they're doing is they're looking retrospectively over data that they've collected. So doing analysis and reporting, looking at things and events that have happened in the past using services like Redshift or Elastic MapReduce. The second thing they're doing is they're starting to look at the real-time operations of their infrastructure and what's happening in real time in their applications, in their games, and on their mobile applications by streaming events directly from those applications into Kinesis and processing them on EC2 or Lambda. That's what's happening right now. But there's another area that developers are more and more interested in looking at, and that is looking at predictions of things that haven't happened yet, looking at predictions for events that will happen in the future. And one of the ways that you can do that is you can use machine learning to build predictive models uh, which basically automatically find patterns in existing data and allow you to use those patterns to make confident predictions about new data. So that's what machine learning does. And it allows you to ask questions of data that you probably already have available today on AWS. So based on what you know about a customer, you might want, want to ask, will they use my product or not? You can segment your customer base to do more targeted marketing, for example. You might want to ask, based on what I know about a particular order, is this order fraudulent or not? And what action do I want to take based on that? Or if you have a collection of articles on your website, you might want to ask, based on what people are looking at, what other articles are they going to find interesting? You can make more relevant recommendations based on that. The challenge of machine learning for developers is that whilst there's some overlap in skills, there's a lot of specialized knowledge required for running machine learning. So you need to be deep on statistics, you need to know how to build models, you need to know how to validate those models, you need to be able to learn about selecting and tuning and optimizing different machine learning algorithms, and you need to know how to work and transform your data so that it's in a good format to build predictive models. That's one set of challenges. Those challenges become compounded when you want to do that in production. You want a highly available system which is running all of these things. And they get even worse when you want to do this at scale. And that's at scale of both ingesting and processing the data that you want to use to build the models, and then at the scale of using those predictions inside your application. And we heard loud and clear from customers that they saw a large opportunity of applying machine learning to the applications and to the data that they already housed on AWS, but they wanted to be able to do that with as low a barrier of entry as possible. They wanted it to be point and click easy so that all of their developers that interact with this data anyway can use machine learning to make predictions going forwards. And so this is really the, uh, the opportunity of Amazon machine learning. It allows customers and developers to easily create machine learning models. It allows you then to very, very quickly and easily visualize and optimize those models using some simple tools that we built right into the AWS web management console. And once you've built and optimized and validated those models, you can put them into production in seconds. It's a simple click. And all of this is using the battle-hardened technology that's been tried and tested inside Amazon.com. So Amazon Machine Learning is very, very easy to use, but it's also high performance. So you can train and optimize predictive models using hundreds of gigabytes of data. And then you can use those models to batch process billions of predictions, or you can put them into a real-time prediction API with a single click. And throughout the whole process, there are no servers to provision, and there's no ongoing management of those servers. It's a fully managed end-to-end -end service. And it's integrated and comes integrated, ready to work with data that's already stored in S3, Amazon Redshift, and Amazon RDS. So developers can start applying and machine learning and building those predictive models straight away with the wealth of data that they already have available on the AWS platform. So just quickly, I wanted to give you the three steps that you need to follow in order to start working with machine learning with the data that you house, for example, in S3. So the first thing you need to be able to do is go ahead and build your model. And it's very easy. You just connect up to the data that's in S3 or in Redshift. And we've built tools which read in the metadata, automatically scan it, and then apply common transitions 
and then allow you to take advantage of tools in the console to prepare and explore your data and make it more amenable to building highly accurate predictive models. So this is very easy visualization and very easy to use tooling. Once you've built your model, you can go ahead and validate and optimize that model. So again, we have a collection of interactive tools built directly into the console that allow you to play with and interact with the model that you've created. So you can adjust the predictive accuracy, you can test for false, and pos false negatives and false positives, and adjust and tune your model without having to go deep on the details of how to go about actually implementing that. It's literally a drag and drop operation. And once you've got a model that you like, you want to go ahead and start working with it, you can make batch predictions asynchronously with a trained model, uh, or you can mount a synchronous, low latency, high throughput API. And you can mount that API for your application with a single click. So that's a very, very brief introduction to Amazon Machine Learning, a fully managed machine learning service for developers. I can't wait to see what you're going to build with it. Now back to Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matt. We are very excited to put this in your hands, and it's available today, as Matt said. 